I am in El Campo, Texas. You know that I love using a certain paddle tail. That thing is called the Swimming Jack, and we are here at Hoagie Lure Company, where they are made. Hey How's it going, Dusty? All right. How you, hey, how I'm you doing? Dusty Road. Hey, Dusty, nice to meet you, man. This is it. This is where the magic oh. happens, the lure that I absolutely love. So a lot of these are plastics that I have to paint extra run holy I, moly a lot of package stuff comes in i try to keep it back here so i can grab it and and get it sorted out starting back here is when we keep all our package lead heads we try to keep a month's supply in stock like this here's lead heads that all go to academy so i know usually what they get per week so i go there at least once a week delivering mm -hmm. so this is like that's mainly what they sell is lead heads and then the rest of this is like these lead heads are the little gold hooks I sell to Bass Pro Cabela's, so I keep them stocked up. And then I pour, like these are all my painted heads with eyeballs. We uh, keep a bunch of them ready to go. I go through about 10 boxes of each. There's 2,000 in a box, so we go through about 10 boxes a week. So here's the paint room. This is one of the paint rooms. Everything is still hand painted, which probably not many people still hand paint. Where we spray black back. It starts black off back. just solid and then from there we get to paint the tail. So they actually get painted three times. All right, so this is where we used to inject everything. Back when we used to do all our own pores. Okay. So this is like one of the very first original injection machines. It was hand built. It was made probably in the 70s maybe because some of the molds are marked early 80s. And it was all put together. It's kind of a smart design. They did a pretty good job on it. But the new ones now are a lot more efficient, a lot more safe to run. The so, grinder turns it into the pellets. All right. And then from the pellets, we can mix it back in, shoot it back through the hose. Oh, okay. And recycle it. Smart. Now, now we're not doing that. So now all this scrap is uh, sold and uh, they recycle it in Mexico and make the little jelly shoes out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know, it's like a little yeah, small plastic yeah, jelly yeah. shoe. So they'll, they'll buy the pallets of these barrels and then haul it down to their facility and, and they just melt it. They're swimming jack. Oh, uh, my man, the swimming jack. The original. So you see how it had no head on it? Oh, it's the just a regular. Right so... Cool. It was just a shrimp body cut. Yeah. And each one of these is just a, a lead mold here. So this was poured off that mold that the we one saw that back there. Showed us. So see how it... Yeah. That's the original swimming jack right there? That's the original. Nice. It came off that mold. <laughs> right now this is what it is today. I'm kind of glad it evolved to... So, kept it pretty much the same. The tail is, is a little slender. This is more of a button tail. And then we added this part right here, yeah. eyeball and gills, and just made it a smoother snout rather than a square snout. Sells all over Texas. Uh, I've seen them in Cabela's. I've seen them in, at Field and Stream Academy, Walmart. I saw it at Stanley's. Uh, I've seen them, where else? Uh, several other places. So, I mean, he's doing very well for himself. And I, whenever he says retirement, uh, I cringe because I don't want to see these lures go away. It is definitely one of my confidence uh, paddle tails of choice. So hopefully they're gonna stay around for quite some time. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. And I really appreciate each and every one of you sticking around and checking out hoagies. Uh, if you see them in the store, give them a shot. They're very reasonably priced and they catch fish. You don't believe me, check out some of my videos and uh, yeah, just take my word for it. They are a gem when you have them inside the tackle box. All right, till next time, tight lines, everyone. I wanna thank you, brother. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us around your outfit.